Have you ever had a pest like a squirrel, rat, or raccoon up in your attic? Well, today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a product that claims to fix that problem. It's called the Evictor, and it's basically a strobe light you hang up in a dark space. It emits a pulse of light to keep all pests away. It seems like a good idea, but will it actually work? On their website, they claim this will evict wildlife from attics and crawl spaces, safe for wildlife, easy installation, and effective solution made in the USA. Well, I don't know if that's actually true, but we're gonna set up the motion cameras to see what happens. In my shed, I have a problem with the rat and chipmunk. They're constantly going in there, so it seems like a good test to see if we can evict them with the strobe light. Now, basically, all you have to do is hang it up and plug it in. You leave it running 24 hours a day, all year long. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna unplug that before it gives me a headache. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what the rat and chipmunk think of the Evictor strobe light. So it's now been several weeks since I set up the Evictor strobe light in my shed and here are some final thoughts. The first thing I noticed after reviewing the motion camera footage is it doesn't work right away, it takes time. The instructions say to leave it at least a week to expect the rodents to leave. And that's what I saw. They'd come and go, but day after day, they visited less until they didn't come at all after the second week. It's really annoying, but the rodents do have some amount of tolerance for that pulsing light. Now some downsides are it's pretty expensive. It costs $149 for a light bulb, plus you have to leave it plugged in all year long. But compare that to the cost of the damage of a squirrel in your attic, and it might be a good deal but you do have to make sure your attic is completely sealed with no natural light. Now that wasn't the case in my shed. Light can escape and it looked pretty weird, almost like I was having a constant rave party in there. But overall, if you leave it set up in a dark place, I do believe eventually it will keep the rodents out, especially new rodents looking for a place to live. They'll be blinded by that light and decide to move on. So I'll put this in the category of one of those Facebook pop-up ads that may actually work. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me pictures of their pets watching Mousetrap Mondays. I love seeing the pictures. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch or deter mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.